next guest feels differently because he opened his address at the London National Conservatism Conference in London with probably the first welcome to country they've heard. Have a look. So I say with great humility and obeisance, my deep thanks to the Grosvenor Estate, <laughs> the Duke of Westminster, the Crown Estates, and His Majesty the King. Joining me now is the best-selling author of groundbreaking works, including The War on the West and The Madness of Crowds, Douglas Murray. Douglas, I mean, I don't know why people were laughing. They're standing on ancient Celtic land, which was stolen by the yep. Romans and by the Anglo-Saxons and then by the Danes and the Normans. It's stolen land. And, Douglas, you think it's just one big joke? I know. I, 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 you're quite right. I mean, it, it, the number of people who stole it from each other and... None of them were exactly saints. <laughs> I imagine they all clubbed each other over the head to take mm. the land. And uh, so I just decided to go back about a thousand years as a sort of rough, rough way to thank uh, the owners of the land. And yes, the, the Grosvenor Estate is one of the biggest, oldest estates in, in London, owned by the Dukes of Westminster, uh, kept in the family for generations, uh, like the Crown Estate. Uh, so I, th I thought it was only appropriate really to to credit these people on whose land we stand and and without whom we couldn't have possibly all been able to gather. <laughs> now, your address has caused quite a stir that people are trying to cancel you. You spoke in defence of nationalism and, and a sense of national pride and you made this comment. Uh, let's have a listen to it. But I see no reason why every other country in the world should be prevented from feeling pride in itself because the Germans mucked up twice in a century. 